All right, so in today's tutorial, we're going to model uh, the House of the Infinite by Albert, Alberto Campo Baeza. This uh, project is located in Spain, in Cadiz. And uh, uh, this is one of my favorite architects. He was uh, actually giving a lecture at my faculty while I was studying. And he was basically describing this project and uh, talking about it and how he actually wants to connect the horizon and uh, the vast uh, distance with the house itself. So this, I think that this image really talks about that and talks about the connection between the, the actual nature and the physical built world which, which we architects create. So I'll just show you a couple of images here. Uh, it's not, this is not a very complex modeling project but I decided to show you how to model it and how we can, and, and, and also show you some of the techniques for having very nice angles and very nice cameras in Rhino. So we're gonna just uh, model this building quickly and then I'll show you these techniques. So uh, let's go. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, import uh, the site plan here. I have, I have it here prepared. So this will be the site plan. And I also have some elevations. So I'll use them as well. Let me check if, if this will match or no, but if it doesn't match, we'll, we'll make it work. So let's go to the top and let's see. Okay, so let me cut out this part here, like this, and then I will just draw some reference geometry here, like this, and I'll try to match it like so. Uh, then I'm going to do the scale from here. Let me see. Okay. So the end of the house is somewhere around there. So this line should go until here somewhere. Let me check. Yeah, that's it. So we're going to do scale. We're gonna go. We're gonna go from here to here, and then bring it back like this. And now we have the same the same distance here. Okay. So we can also cut it out. Not. Um, scaling it down, and let's scale it like this. Okay, so now we have these guys ready. Let's move them here in the position. And let's rotate them. Okay. So, um, basically, I'm gonna draw a rectangle on top. And I'm gonna draw a couple of more rectangles. That will be these uh, these walls here. Okay, so we have the base and now we can go to the front view and draw out these rectangles here. Uh, 
Okay. And now let's start extruding. I'm gonna go with this guy. First, I'm gonna bring this down from the ground. Let's do for everything this and this. So let's bring it down like this. And now we can start to extrude some of the elements. So let's extrude this guy. It will go until till here. And all the other drawings that we just did can go on the top. Like this. So it seems that um, for some reason this elevation is not matching. This wall should go actually until there. All right, so I'm going to import just in case the roof terrace plan. I want to make sure that I have all the details correct. So, so I'll just quickly update the roof terrace drawing instead of this site plan drawing. All right, so I, I just quickly redrawn here uh, the same elements that we had here. So we're just going to <coughs> extrude it now and let's unlock everything else. Uh, we don't need these guys anymore. And uh, we don't need this one anymore also. So this will be, uh, this will be the extrusion. So I'm just gonna bring this guy up a little bit like so and this way i know for sure what's uh what's the relation going to be so let's uh, let's bring these guys up set point z and bring them here all right so right now i'm just going to use curve boolean here to get these walls like this let's bring them up again and let's extrude them till there and as you can see this this uh, last ones are a little bit different so what we can do with them is we can cut them here here and here so we're going to use these curves and we're going to extrude them down and say boolean split and now we have this guy here that we can bring down so we can have it there and we can delete the rest and let's bring these two down these two up as well and that would be pretty much it and of course we can just boolean difference these guys and also create the, the stairs so i'm gonna boolean difference the stairs as well so 
what I wanted to show you here actually is how you can uh, okay before doing that let's just also do the uh, do the the windows here let's cap them and let's move them in so I'm gonna go boolean difference and do the rest like this so I will do a lot of a little bit of detailing later I just wanted to show you one command now in Rhino which is really cool if you want to get this nice nice shots nice effects if you want to have uh, for example on this first image if you want to have exactly straight line for our camera you can do this by doing the following first you create some middle line here in the geometry so let's say until there and we can resize it a little bit and let's let's have this as our line for the camera so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna bring this up just a tiny bit and I'm gonna say this is my spot number one and spot number two for camera and now the last thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna use this option here that's called uh, place camera and target on the right click so I'm gonna right click I'm gonna say new camera location I'm gonna click on the first uh, dot and then on the second one new target location will be here and as you can see I have exactly straight view just like just like here and if I want to move it if I want to move it up I'll bring this menu down so I can show you so there's this option here it says elevator up so once I click it I go up and then if you if you think it's going too big I'm gonna say uh, step size to be very small and now once I go elevator down it's gonna be very small and the last thing we want to do is we want to change the viewport to something like this or maybe even less depending on on uh, on what your result uh, should be and you can see here now that we have similar similar effect so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna render this now and show you the final result so this is the final rendering uh, hope that you like it uh, thank you for watching and please like and share these videos if you find them useful and if you know anybody that can benefit from them any of your architectural friends please uh, tell them about my channel and as always uh, take care and see you in the next one Oh, yeah.